Hi, I'm Anil Kumar and now I will take a few examples of proving trigonometric identities which will in involve double angle and half angle. While you already know a few formulas, let me write them down for you here. We know sine of 2 theta it could be written as 2 sine theta cos theta. Cos of 2 theta can be written as uh, cos square theta minus sine square theta. It could also be written as 2 cos square theta minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sine square theta, right? So these are a few double angle identities which we know about. We also know tan 2 theta which is 2 tan theta divided by 1 minus tan square theta. So whenever you are proving identity, it is kind of important to have this list with you, right, as a reference. Now let us look into the question. It says tan a by 2 equals to sin a divided by 1 plus cos a, which is equal to 1 minus cos a over sin a. Now you'll also find this particular question in your book, and it's a very important question to do. What I'll really do here is I'll prove sin a divided by 1 plus cos a is tan a by 2, and you can follow the same method and prove 1 minus cos a divided by sin a equals to a by tan a by 2. That should help, right? So what we will start with in this case is sin a over 1 plus cos a, right? And see what is, how can it be proven equal to tan a by 2. So we'll apply the double angle equations which we know. So instead of double angle, we'll, we'll now use a as a by 2, right? So a is a double angle, half of a will be a by 2. So applying sine 2 theta equals to 2 sine theta cos theta, I can write sine a as equals to 2 times sine a by 2 cos a by 2. I hope that is clear, right? So that is how we could write it. Now in the denominator, we have 1 plus cos a. Now, since we have 1 on the positive side, it's a good idea to use this form of cos 2 theta, right? So, I'll write cos a as 2 cos square a by 2 minus 1. You get the idea. Now, since I've used this, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, that helps, right? In the numerator, I have 2 sine a by 2 cos a by 2. And in the denominator now, I have 2 cos square a by 2, right? Now, you can see that we can further simplify 2 and 2 gets cancelled. Cos square a by 2, one of them gets cancelled. We are left with what? We are left with sine a by 2, right? Divided by cos a by 2, which is indeed equals to tan a by 2, the left side. Do you get the idea? So, so that is how you can prove this identity. Similarly, you can start from here. But in this case, what should you do? Which formula for cos A should be utilized? We should use this one. So if I write cos A as 1 minus 2 sine squared A by 2, then 1 and 1 will cancel out and will easily prove the same thing. Correct? So that is the strategy to be adopted. It's a very important and interesting question to do. Go through it and I hope that helps you to take forward few more identities and solve them in the most efficient way. Thank you and all the best.